In part one of this video, we began taking a look at how we can tell if one number divides evenly into another. Is it divisible by another? And we looked at tests for one through six and some tricks we can use to, so we can know quicker if it's divisible. We're going to skip seven and eight because they're a little more involved, a little more complicated. But nine's a nice little test. It's similar to the test for three in that we look at the sum of the digits or we add the digits together. And we want to know if the sum of the digits is divisible by nine. So for example, if I had the number 936 and we wanted to add these digits together, nine plus three is 12, 12 plus six is 18, we can divide 18 by 9, and so that tells me that the entire number is divisible by 9. Let's try that same test on 417. Adding the digits, 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 plus 7 is 12. We can't divide 12 by 9, so 417 is not divisible by 9 either. Finally, the test for 10, you might recognize just from experience, we look at the last digit and we want the last digit to be zero. And so you could tell very quickly that 730 is divisible by 10 because the last digit is zero and a number like 521 is not because the last digit is one. So 10 won't divide in evenly. Let's see if we can use these tests to decide if a certain number is divisible by something. Let's take, for example, the number 2160. Well, we know everything is divisible by 1, so 1 clearly divides into it. To decide if 2 goes into it, we look at the last digit. Can we do 0 divided by 2? Yes, we can with no remainder, so 2 goes in there. It's even. To decide if 3 goes in there, we'll add the digits together, 2 plus 1 plus 6 plus 0. When we add those digits together, we get a sum of 9. Can we divide 9 by 3? Yes, we can. So 3 goes in there evenly. To decide if 4 goes into the number, we look at the last two digits, 60. And we simply say, does 4 go into 60? And you'll see really quick that it does 15 times, but specifically, no remainder. Because 4 goes into 60, or 4 goes into the last two digits, 4 will go into the entire thing. To decide if it's divisible by 5, we look at the last digit, which is a 0. If it's a 5 or a 0, 5 works. To decide if it's divisible by 6, it simply has to pass the test for 2 and 3. We notice it already has, so we can include 6 in our list. To decide if it's divisible by 9, remember we're skipping 7 and 8, we add the digits and see if that sum is divisible by 9. Well, we've already added them up. We got 9. Can we do 9 divided by 9? Yes, we can. 9 goes in there evenly. Finally, does 10 go into that number? Well, again, the last digit's a 0, so 10 does go in. This number is divisible by all of these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. Let's try another number. Let's take a look at 1040. We know 1 goes into it because 1 goes into everything. To test 2, the last digit's a 0, which is even, so 2 goes into it. To test 3, we'll add the digits together, 1 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 equals 5. Ah, 5's not divisible by 3. 3 won't work here. What about 4? Does 4 go into 40, the last two digits? Yes, it does, with no remainder, so 4 goes into the entire thing. 5. Well, the last digit's a 0, so 5 goes in. What about 6? To pass the test for 6, it has to work for 2 and 3. 2 is in here, but 6 is not. I mean, two, 3 is not, so 6 doesn't work. We skip 7 and 8. 9, we look at the sum, which we already said was 5. 9 can't go into 5, but 10 does work because the last number is a 0, and so we know we're divisible by this.